Hey everyone, this is Andrew Embler, CTO of Portland Labs and co-founder of Concrete 5. When we released Concrete 5 in 2008, it was the first CMS with easy to use in context editing. We found that feature so compelling that we relied on it for everything. Whether it's rich text content, custom attributes or forms, everything that can be done in Concrete 5 can be done from the particular page that it affects. Why should editors learn a system of disconnected forms that have no relation to their site's front-end content in order to manage that content effectively? This approach has worked so well for us that it has remained mostly unchanged for eight years. And while it's still true today, it's not the whole picture. Websites in 2016 aren't just a series of interlinked pages. Websites are a collection of objects. We knew that in 2008, and that's why Concrete 5's pages are a collection of blocks, editable through the CMS. But what about data objects that are specific to the site? Items that aren't just pages, but objects shared between different pages on a site in complex and relational ways. Typically, developers would have to write that code from scratch. But what if there were a way to create those data objects entirely through the dashboard, using Concrete 5's existing custom attribute system, relate those objects to each other in complex ways, and use a simple syntax and series of blocks to access this data on the front end? That's Express. In this video, I'm going to take you through a simple, attractive website and show you how it uses Express to make it much, much simpler to keep up to date than it might otherwise be. Then, in the follow-up videos, we'll actually walk through how to store data in Express, use that data on the front end, create custom templates that access the data, and much more. This is the website in question. It's a website for a salon owned by my wife with three locations, each of which employs many stylists. It's running Concrete 5 version 8. As you can see, this is your typical Concrete 5 site, using in-context editing. Here's an image slider, here's an HTML block, here's an instance of the feature block. You could easily build this site using version 5.7 or earlier. Keeping it up to date, however, is another matter. Let's consider the locations page. Here we have nicely structured data about each location, including all the stylists that work at them. On the stylist page, we have information about the stylists themselves, as well as which location they work at and their shifts in question. On the home page, we have service categories, and on the services page, we have those categories again and the services that they contain. What happens when we need to add a new stylist or a new location? In Concrete 5, 7 and earlier, we'd have to keep a checklist of all the things that needed to be changed and change that front end content in all the affected places. Yes, the CMS makes that easy to do, but it's still more work than we should have to perform to make a change to the site. We could use pages, after all they allow us to group custom attributes together, but what if we don't want a page on the site for each location and stylist? What we need are simple objects for stylists, their shifts and locations, and we need those objects to relate to each other. We could build those as PHP objects, but that means a lot of coding. We could use the Doctrine framework to create them, but we'd still have to create lots of custom code for what is something the CMS should fundamentally handle. This is the promise of Express. Here, in the Concrete 5 dashboard, we can create custom data objects with attributes and relate those objects to each other. Here is my location object. I've created a number of attributes, including some pretty fancy ones like latitude and longitude, which I use to display the location on a Google map. My object also has associations with other objects. Seeing here, each location can have many location hours objects, which are used to display when the location itself is open. Each location can also have many shifts, which is shown here. More on that in a second. Finally, here's my form editor, where I group attributes and associations together into field sets which will determine how my location looks when I add it via the dashboard. Here's my stylist object. There's a similar story here. Here are the attributes. I've got first name, last name, I've got an image attribute which pulls from the file manager, and here are my associations. Each stylist can have one to many shifts as well. And here is the form for my stylist. Once you put all this together, let's see what it actually looks like to edit and add a location in the stylist. 
Here are my three locations. Viewing the object renders it in the form that we saw earlier, including the associated objects. I can add location hour objects by clicking this button up here, which takes me to a form that relates the new entry back to the selected location. It's the same story for stylists. I can edit all the information about a stylist right from here in the dashboard. I can add shifts, which relate that selected stylus to a location and to a free text date and time field. And I can even control how the shifts themselves are listed when I put that stylus in edit mode. This was all done without any custom code. The associations, attributes, and express objects take care of all of this themselves. We'll go into exactly how I've set up some of these objects in a later video. Once we have the objects inside Express, the front end is easy. Using a combination of Express blocks with custom templates and custom code, I can do tons of fancy stuff like grabbing all the stylists in the system, showing their bios and light boxes, grabbing their associated shifts, and much more. I can plot my locations on a map, get the stylists who work at each location, and sort their shifts. Best of all, if I ever need to add a stylist, change something about them, or even add a whole new location, I only have to do it from one spot. That's the power of Express in Concrete 5 version 8.